Whether it's in a toasty, with a burger, or on a pizza, people will travel hundreds of miles for some delicious cheese. Gromit, that's it, cheese. We'll go somewhere where there's cheese. But you don't need to go to the moon to get cheese. You can make it at home from a glass of milk. But how does milk turn into cheese? Let's find out in this super cheesy episode of Silly Science with Simon. Are you ready? Then let's get science. To make cheese at home, you'll need a large bowl, a strainer, a non-reactive saucepan, a wooden spoon, and a kitchen thermometer. You'll also need four ingredients. One liter of full cream milk, 250 mils of buttermilk, 125 mils of cream, and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt. Once you have all these items and ingredients, ask an adult to help you in the kitchen with the following steps. Firstly, add the milk, buttermilk, cream, and kosher salt to the saucepan and give it all a good stir. Then place the saucepan on the stove and set the stove to medium heat. Hold the thermometer in the saucepan and stir the milk as it heats up. Once the milk reaches 40 degrees Celsius, stop stirring and continue heating the milk until it reaches 90 degrees Celsius, checking with the thermometer every minute. Be careful because the milk will start to bubble and splash anyone standing too close. Once the milk reaches 90 degrees Celsius, turn off the heat and allow it to stand for one hour. After an hour, scoop the cheese out of the saucepan and into a sieve over a large bowl. Then pour any remaining cheese and liquid into the sieve and let it sit for 20 minutes. And that's it! You've just made cheese! This cheese will last about three days in a clean, airtight container in the fridge. You've also made whey. That's the liquid left over in the large bowl and you can use it in other recipes. I like to use it to make a loaf of bread, following the recipe in my Science of Bread video, but replacing the water with whey. So now I can enjoy a nice crusty loaf of bread with cheese and a drizzle of honey. But Simon, how does a mixture of milk, buttermilk, cream and salt turn into cheese when you heat it up? Um... The milk we get from a cow is mostly water, but it also has fats, proteins, sugars such as lactose and minerals. Let's take a closer look at the main protein in milk known as casein. Casein doesn't like to mix with water. Instead, it forms spherical structures known as micelles. The outside of the micelles allows them to float around in the water and stops them combining with other micelles. But when we heat up the milk and make it more acidic by adding sour buttermilk, the micelles start to break apart. The casein clumps together, forming curds, which float to the surface and are scooped out as a delicious soft cheese. Of course, this is just one way to make one type of cheese. Other cheeses take months or even years to make, but you can make this one in a few hours. Let me know how you go and I'll see you next time on Silly Science with Simon.